Hello Xamarin developers, this is Xamarin Guys Show 54 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating splash page for our Xamarin Forms iOS project. And let us give it a name as my iOS launch. And then click on next as we are selecting our .NET standard project for this project. Now let us go to our iOS project. Here we'll create a new storyboard for our iOS project, which will be launched when our project gets started. So let us create a new file and select iOS and then inside launch screen let us give it a name as my new launch screen this is my storyboard that is going to be displayed when our project gets started we can notice that inside our resources folder there is another storyboard that is our default launch screen dot storyboard that is not going to be used so I'll use my new launch screen dot storyboard as my default storyboard let us go towards our assets catalog for now you can create a new catalog by going to project and then select a new catalog but uh, for this now I'll be using this catalog as asset catalog and here we can create a new image set and let us rename it by pressing enter or as well as double clicking it we can rename it as my new image now let us download our required image let's go to google chrome and then here I have searched for Twitter icon. You can select anything as you like and then let us save it to our desktop. As I'll give it a name as Twitter. After saving it, let us minimize it. Now let us search our Twitter image. That's our Twitter image. Now let us drag and drop towards our 2x pixel image here 1x means 150 pixel times 150 pixel and then 2x means 300 by 300 as well as 3x means 450 by 450 pixel here I'll be adding a resolution of 300 pixel by 300 pixel inside our image asset you can learn more about using vector images in asset catalog I'll give you link in the description below you can go through it and now let us go towards our storyboard before that let us select our my new launch screen as my startup storyboard now let us go towards our main storyboard view controller before adding our image view let us modify our view controller background where is it and then i can give any color as can select that again i have to select anything you can play with it as background as black I'll be again changing it to white color as it is not required for me and then let us add our image view inside our view controller in middle you can see over here and then let us select that here you can see a lot of options that you can play with it here our main objective is to add our image that was previously saved inside our image set as this is my new image that was named as new image set I will just try to shape it in middle and then give it as a centered position you can see over here center position now again let us resize it to a little bit middle that's all now let us set our iOS project as our startup project by right clicking on it and then set as startup project and then you can select any emulators as you like I'll use iPhone X let's wait for some time until our emulator starts up it's loading okay we got our expected output that's all thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials